hi welcome to another tutorial of mysql replication uh, what we are going to do here is that we will be taking the backup using the uh, percona extra backup a uh, full backup and we will be uh, then we will then we will restore the backup onto the uh, mysql 3 and then we will configure uh, our replication so for uh, just for the prereqs because uh, we already did the replication from mysql 1 to the mysql 2 so we already have the user configured uh, for the replication so we will be using the same replication user uh, in this one okay so for the first thing uh, we need a backup directory and i am inside the slash root and i have a created a backup directory which is uh, yeah this backup and it's empty okay so let's create the screen and let's see the enter okay yeah clear and all the command i'm using here uh, you can find them in the at, in, uh, in the source directories and i will be posting them uh, into the directory so you can download them from there and then you will be able to follow what uh, the cop command i'm copy and pasting okay so i'm not giving the uh, user uh, I'm not giving the uh, user password uh, because I already have it here uh, just as I mentioned before in my uh, user in the root home directory it's like root and not secure okay so what you guys need to do if it's not there then you have to provide dash dash user and dash dash password and you have to provide the root and the password as well so for for now uh, it's already there so it's not required anymore and let's take the full backup okay so the dash dash backup means by default it is going to take the full backup okay so the backup is completed let's go to the slash backup directory and if you see here uh, these are the backup directories okay and this is the uh, extra backup uh, bin log info okay so this one contains the information about till which file we have taken the backup and this one is log file backup uh, sorry extra backup underscore log file uh, this is the file uh, which will have all the information inside the uh, what do you say uh, inside the uh, bin log okay the binary logs so it has copied all that why it, it does create that file uh, the reason behind is that uh, because any change is happening during the time of the backup so it has to take those changes as well at the end of the backup so then you can apply it how we can apply those changes um, i will show you later on in this tutorial as well so let me clear the screen here as well and now uh, we have to copy this file to the my other server which is mysql3 and inside that i have the backup direct uh, in, in the uh, that what we will do is that we are going to copy it here to the root uh, and then uh, we will restore it <coughs> okay how we are going to do that uh, first let's uh, copy this uh, backup okay we have is the scp whatever is inside the root uh, take it uh, root slash backup uh, take it to the uh, other directory so it's asking for the root password as i said it's vagrant and now it has been copied okay so if you see here i have now a backup directory here and everything is here now okay next what we need to do is that we need to prepare the backup why do we need to prepare the backup because when we take the backup okay after you take the backup using this command yeah when you take the backup extra backup dash dash backup what happen is that you will first need because you need to prepare the backup in order to restore it why is that because data file are not point in time consistent until they have been prepared okay so all the data file we have here is this is the list of the data files okay these data files they are not point in time until and unless they has been prepared okay so because uh, they were copied in a different time when we ran the extra backup so they might have been changed while this was happening so okay so that is why we need to prepare the backup and if you start the in uh, if you start the mysql with these data file uh, without preparing them then it will detect corruption and it will crash itself to prevent you from running the damage uh, damage data okay so that is why so let's prepare this okay uh, prepare is very simple 
uh, what you need to do is that we have to go to this mysql3 and we have to run uh, this command okay so extra backup dash dash prepare and we need to provide our uh, target directory which is our slash root inside the uh, the backup directory so now it's uh, doing the prepare actually what prepare is it's kind of a crash recovery okay so whatever it inside the binary log file it's going to apply them okay so log files okay so if you see now the backup uh, it's, it's been a bit changed okay so uh, the previous output was different uh, previous output was like uh, where it is yeah this one and now it's a bit different okay so now as it's done so what we are going to do is that we need to restore this so what we need to do is that we need to first uh, uh, system ctls we need to stop the mysql server okay and once that is done let's verify that it has been stopped sorry guys status okay so it's da it's dead and it's not running so once that is done what we need to do is that we have to remove everything inside our uh, war slash lib directory which is our data dir uh, you can confirm that from here uh, slash etc uh, my dot cnf if you can see here this is our data directory so if you go there uh, obviously it's running mysql server mysql server should be already installed here okay that's the test that's the prereq for this so what we need to do is that uh, we have to delete everything here okay so uh, let's remove everything from our data uh, our data directory which is uh, this one var slash lib slash mysql okay okay so if you see here we have nothing in here now it's empty okay the total is zero so now what we need to do is that we have to copy back whatever inside inside our backup directory so what is that is you need to provide extra backup dash dash file uh, this is our default file which which have the information about uh, what is what is our uh, data directory okay this this already in there so it will take it from there the that which is my target like where i need to copy it and dash dash copy back means copy it to the uh, now the the location uh, the source location now which is my target backup where is my backup so this is we are telling it that this, the here is your backup so let's do it so now it's copying back if you see now ll uh, slash for slash lib mysql everything is here now so everything is perfect now and now what we need to do is that we need to provide the uh, proper permissions because if you see here it, everything is under root user so we don't want that so what we need to do is that we have to provide the proper permission uh, like we need to give it uh, under the us user mysql and okay mysql mysql okay let me see that what's the issue okay i think this uh, static was having some issue so i think we should not do that okay so if we go for the ll now uh, everything should be under uh, mysql uh, mysql okay so that's it uh, now we can uh, yes start our mysql server and let's start our mysql server system uh, let me open the uh, uh, that error log uh, which is here tail minus ref slash for slash log yeah slash mysql dot log <coughs> okay so previously we stop it here if you see here shut down complete and let's start it cts status uh, start mysql t okay so if you see here the mysql server has been started now <coughs> okay and it's ready for the connection yeah if you see here so it's ready for the connection ready for yeah here okay so my or my sql server is ready let's have a, another check i love to do the checking because it uh, stop you from uh, doing wrong things okay uh, if you see here uh, this file where is this file uh, we had one file here uh, that is inside our uh, backup solution 
uh, inside the backup uh, this one <coughs> okay so this is the file which knows the look uh, which which knows that uh, where is my uh, till which position I have taken the backup so we need to install we need to uh, we, we have to uh, like get the information from here okay or you can take it from here as well extra backup info so let's uh, take it from here uh, no issue it's just the same thing and yeah let me copy the command <coughs> okay sorry uh, it's this file cat Okay, so if you see here, uh, this is the file, uh, this is the binary log file and this is the my position till which the backup has been taken. So now uh, we need to change our uh, the last command we already showed you that change master command and let me put this uh, into that and I will post it here with you guys. Okay, and this is the position we have. sorry uh, now let's go to the mysql and okay so oh, oh i don't know if it is going to work or not uh, because we have these i think it should work and let's see if not let me see okay i know it it won't work <laughs> uh no issues uh, let me paste it somewhere else okay so let's paste the command I uh, edited the command here now okay so this was the position okay so uh, this one uh, we took it from here uh, where is it where is it yeah yeah this one okay so this is my position this is my binary log file and this is the position okay and the rest things you already described in the previous example as well that 192 dot this is my master host IP and uh, this is the slave user and this is the password so let's say enter okay and see your uh, error log okay so the channel has been changed now and let's start our slave start slave okay uh okay it's went into error okay 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 the problem is that we have some issue here okay so let's uh, solve this issue okay so let's go to this location and slash etc sorry it should be cat okay it doesn't have the server id we haven't set the server id so that is why uh, slash etc Okay, so what is the variable here let me sh show you guys because in the in this one we have set it but not in this one if you see here uh, server id okay not in this one we, because it's already one so we didn't set in it in this one uh, let me show you on the other server as well yeah this one clad slash etc my dot cnf uh, in the previous example we set it here but uh, for it's not the same on the other server but if i show you here uh, my sql okay and select server uh, select add, add server underscore id that is why i wanted to sh uh, to show you that select added server id yeah it's one okay on mysql 3 is 1 and in mysql 1 it should it will be also 1 so that is why it causes the problem so now let's uh, set it okay vi and let us set it here okay server underscore id equal to 3 because the other one is already two so i don't want to mismatch that now so in mysql3 we have it as so already okay so let's say start it system ctl uh, restart it's 
just okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's done, and let's see. Okay, so it's three now. So let's start slave. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now yeah, what happened? Uh, let's check our show slave status. Show slave status slash g. Okay, so now the slave is running. Yes, yes, and all that. And let's see. Uh, if you want to uh, get some uh, like limited data, if you want to just so you can set the pager, okay. And the pager is set now. And if you now execute the slave status, then whatever you have mentioned here, okay, uh, it's going to get only those info. Okay. So now I'll check on the uh, MySQL three host. Uh, check how many databases we have. Show databases. Okay oh sorry the pager is set so that is why it's only giving us the rows so type the pager again and it's not okay it's not now fine now so let's create another database here create database test 2 and let's see if it is going to replicate it to the other one as well or not okay so show databases yeah so test 2 is here and we have a mysql 2 as well so let's test there as well show databases first let's check our show slave status yes it's running everything is fine and show databases show databases yeah i always forget this a so test 2 is here as well so everything is fine so uh, that is how you guys can set your uh, another replication using the Procon extra backup like you take the full backup then you restore on the other server and that's how you create your uh, backup okay one more thing i wanted to show you guys that uh, cd slash the information we took it from here uh, in the previous command like yeah this one uh, as i mentioned here that this is the file which takes the which have the information of till which uh, position i have taken the backup but you can have it from here as well cd slash uh, or lib which is my data directory and this file yeah backup info so if you see here uh, cat extra backup info yeah this is the position is telling you this is the position uh, it's telling you the server start time end time or all the so many things it has and this is the log sequence number it has so and this is the commands which executed tool name and all that so it's server uid and all that so we took the backup till this position and you can grab this position from here as well so thank you so much for watching this one and see you in the next one